there you go, maybe you knew it all already. But the <laughs> I thought just the, the, the confluence of, uh, you know, the, the fair and, um, and uh, this, the shift into narrative, essentially, from like actuality films into narrative was maybe facilitated by this assassination. And probably how that's affected us more than any assassination, you know, politically would be. Y yeah. Are, are you up for a question? Yeah, well, it's a short question, sure. And I also wanted to say, uh, it's, it's great that, um, that Tony's here because I was um, thinking about the, the, uh, the Media Studies program here and how influential that was in, for another reinvention of cinema. So there's a little homage built into that about uh, the film as material and the flicker and, and that. So um, that sort of goes along with that. So um, We should have shot more presidents here. <laughs> well, the nice thing about digital is I could put a quote underneath if you'd like at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, a question in the back. It's, um, I, I mean, I, I know of that, of that uh, discrepancy, but some, some, I think there is a, still a discrepancy about, about that, so yes, it could be wrong, it could be right, but it, it works with the narrative. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, my question was just whether the, the scene where we're watching the actual execution, is that, is that reconstruction? Or yeah, is that that, I mean, that could be considered the first, like, narrative film. Because there was so much demand for, yeah. like he missed it, right? He wasn't filming when, when the president was assassinated, but he recreated. And actually, the interesting thing about that is that reel has, the first part of it is a pan of Auburn prison where he was incarcerated. So that was the documentary. And then spliced into the second half of that is this like staging of the, of the electric chair. So it's a very, very interesting that, um, you know, sort of that divide there. So, um, so actually, so for the next piece, um, I brought something. Um, how many people have been to the Sonoran Desert? Can you raise your hand? Okay, good. So this is new. Um, so I brought this um, this plant called a creosote bush, and um, I wanted to pass it out because there's a, it's a central metaphor in the film. And don't get it all over squeaky wheel, and you can't smoke it. Um, I brought some to. Um, Germany from Amsterdam, and I was like, oh shit, I hope they don't like, think I, anyway. It's, um, so anyway, so the film is a, um, it's a, it's an essay piece, and it deals with these, these two historical figures, uh, Del Webb and Wilhelm Wright, and the film also, there's an autobiographical component to it, uh, but it also, um, <laughs> It also uh, plays with the form of, of essay filmmaking itself and different modes of documentation and recreation. Um, so you'll see this journey that goes through different genres or different schemas of, of filmic representation um, that all sort of fold together um, by the end, but it is a, it is a bit of a journey. So if you feel perplexed at times, that's that's okay. Um, uh, but it, it really is is looking at, at how this huge migration has happened from um, you know into the American Southwest and what are the ramifications of it in terms of um, sustainability, both um, environmentally but also psychologically. And Wilhelm Reich had some real insights into psychological sustainability long before that was even a used word. So, um, so I hope you enjoy the piece. It's 90 minutes, and um, I'd love to ask, 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 ask or answer questions afterwards. So, thank you so much. <laughs>